Yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none of the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it If we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it Really on go, I don't know what's an off day. Now we on road, keep us. Yo, what is good, JI Squad, and welcome back to yet again another episode of JI Productions. It's your boy JI. Don't mind my hair, I gotta get it redone soon. But as you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail, today's video, we will be getting my car in the air and just assessing the work that Five Star did, the body shop that did the work on all of you know the repairs after the accident we're going to be getting the car in the air right now and just kind of going over it and then i got a couple updates that i want to give y'all so let's go ahead and get this video started with a nice little warm start uh, how can you not love this exhaust let me hop inside to the interior bro just carbon everywhere on the interior as you guys can see man so if you guys haven't seen the video where I was talking about doing the giveaway, a lot of you guys didn't see it. That video didn't do too great. So I went ahead and finessed and was able to get the carbon fiber on my car. Um, and in my opinion, it looks pretty good for what it is. Now, when Next Gen sends out the new kit that actually has the cutout for the heads up display controls, I will be replacing this because it low key looks a little janky, but for what it is for right now, it works. Yes, yeah, sir, man. Inside beta right now. About to go ahead and get them moved inside the shop just so I can raise the car up just a little bit for you guys and y'all can see kind of exactly what I'm going over and what I'm seeing. You dig? So. Let's get this car in the air real quick, man. Alright, y'all. So, as you can see, we got Vader up in the air right now, man. So, basically, all I wanted to do in this video is go over what the body shop fixed, what they touched, and also go over the exhaust to show you guys the damage on the exhaust so let's just get straight into it as you guys can tell we have a brand new 1LE diffuser I will be honest the diffuser does look really good the fitment however is a little off I don't know if you guys can see up in that little crevice right there where the diffuser meets the bumper there's a little bit of a gap but I think that it's because of basically when they put it on I don't think when they put it on they had the um, the bumper probably was painted before they put the diffuser on. So all of that white stuff that we see at the bottom is probably just like, you know, the excess uh, sanding and stuff like that. Now, as far as my rear splats go for my diffuser, you guys can tell they use their own hardware plus what looks like the OEM hardware, but they have them mounted on perfectly. They're both even on both sides. So I'm not tripping on that. Now the whole reason why I had the car in the air is so that I can show you guys the exhaust pipe. Um, I believe that the AWE exhaust is actually okay. I don't think that it's really damaged for real. And my reasoning behind that is simply because these tips are bolted on and the tip was what, was what really took the impact when I got hit. Now, with that being said, I loosened it, put them back on, as you guys saw in my delivery video, and this tip was sitting a little bit higher, but after some finagling and adjustment, I got it to sit flush, and I don't really see any abnormal bends or curvatures in the actual axle back itself, so I think we should be good. As far as just, you know, coming underneath here, they got everything mounted as proper as they're supposed to be. All the brackets are mounted up, all the bolts are tight. So now we're gonna go ahead and kind of lower the car a little bit and we'll just go over the gaps of the bumper, make sure that everything is sitting flush and kind of get in depth really close to the paint. Show you guys where they did paint and then also we'll go over the door, the passenger door. I'll try to see if I have a clip of 
how the door looked prior to me taking it to them and then I'll show you guys the finished product but let's go ahead and lower the car just a little bit so far so good alright you guys so I got the car kind of dropped down just a little bit still in the air though so that we are kind of you know eye level with the car as you guys can see this is where the damage was now this is the same stock uh, bumper that came with the car the body shop just repaired it they did not replace it as you guys can see from right here and right like in this area right here the blend everything is perfect the car is a little dirty but I've seen it in the sunlight it does look good that is good now as far as the fitment goes for the bumper it does look like everything is on there straight everything does look good on both sides the gapping is the same it's not different now another thing that i wanted to bring to you guys is attention when i first got the car this part of the tri bar spoiler for the one le was always off a little bit as far as the gapping goes it was never the same they went ahead and took those off and actually fixed the gapping for me they reinstalled them and now the gapping is perfect that's one thing that i wanted to mention and then as you guys can see the tips look flush with each other so i'm pretty sure i was able to fix that exhaust overall man the job looks pretty good they did a pretty good job man fitment on both sides is good as i can, as i showed you guys the hardware looks correct doesn't look like they just put miscellaneous bolts in there to get everything done and send it out to me it does look like they actually took care of the work and did the job right now let's go ahead and drop the car all the way down and i'll show you guys that passenger door the gapping and the spacing all right you guys with the car down now let me grab a flashlight because there was a kind of like a bend a flex in the trunk right here after the car was hit and the guys were able to pull it out now this is a good and a bad thing it's a good thing because they were able to fix it it's a bad thing for my paint because there's a whole bunch of like hairline scratches right here now and i'm not gonna lie it really does bug me but i think my guy randall will be able to fix it whenever he redoes the paint correction and ceramic coating on the lower bumper um we'll go ahead and have him touch this place as well i'm gonna grab a flashlight and try well i doubt that i'll be able to show you guys because of the fact that the car is dirty but let's go ahead and move on to the passenger door as you guys can see the passenger door is now sitting super flush before this part of the door was like over here so it was like the door was closing but it wasn't closing all the way now we have it sitting nice and flush pop it open it closes fully no issues and it clears all the gapping as well and overall they did a pretty good job on the car i'm not gonna lie um i was really bummed to not have my car for that month span but it was definitely worth it because they were able to you know get the job done and they did it right they used oem parts they didn't you know stiff me and use cheap you know chinese parts and stuff like that so you know huge shout out to five star and as you guys seen in the video if you watch the video they did detail the car for me but houston is houston and it decided to rain for literally five minutes and then after it rained the sun came out as always so let's go ahead and get a cold not a cold start but a startup for you guys and we'll go ahead and close out this video yes sir man two in one day so crazy how the old car shakes on startup and it's not even canned. Obviously, you know, the motor is moving to turn over, but still. Ugh. Like, how could you not like this? Oh my god. It sounds so good. It sounds phenomenal. But let's go ahead and hop in there and close this video up. So yeah, man, with all that being said, that's actually going to wrap it up, man. Thank Again, huge shout out to Five Star. They did a pretty good job on Vader. Um, everything, I, can't, I couldn't be any more happier. Like I said, it did take longer than expected. It did take longer than I was told. But at least it came back 100%. Everything is perfect. They put all my parts back on transferred everything that needed to be transferred to the diffuser as far as the rear splats go as far as the rock guards go everything's on the car and it is on and looks a hundred percent like it did before the accident before i had to take it to them and i'm super stoked about that also a very big plus is the fact that i don't have to replace my awe exhaust 
Um, everything is good. I was able to fix that. I'm super stoked on that, man. But with all that being said, y'all, it's actually going to wrap up today's video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for the kid and turn on those post notifications. We are on the road to 10K subscribers. Currently, we're at 4.2K. Um, if you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button, like I said, and turn on those post notifications because I'm doing a very big collab giveaway, giveaway with Wild Hammer Motorsports once the channel hits 5K. So that's all I'm going to say as far as that giveaway goes as of right now. If you guys are interested, hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications so you can be notified every time I upload a video. Give this video a big thumbs up if you think that 5 Star did a pretty good job on Vader. And drop a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys think. And I will see you guys in the next one. Let's go ahead and roll that outro. Peace.